the heart beats and sends that healing chemistry to every cell in your body. Welcome to Shinable, the podcast with insights and inspiration to live your best life. Get ready to feel good during today's interview with Margot Gunther from Soap Lake, Washington. 20 years ago, Margot was in so much pain, she couldn't even work. Through research and her knowledge of the body and science, she discovered tools that helped her overcome her own chronic pain. And since then, she's taught thousands of people around the world to do the same. Welcome to the podcast, Margo. Thank you. It's so good to be here in Soap Lake. Oh my gosh. Soap Lake is a good place to be for sure. Yeah. We have a gorgeous view of the lake from your sunroom. And this is where you do some of your work. This is where I do my personal work. This is kind of my morning practice uh, space that we're in here Um, in my beautiful sunroom. This is a pretty new house. I've only, I haven't even lived here two months yet. Oh my gosh. And I, I bought it because of this room and that view. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the view is incredible. I see people out there in the water right, right now. It's that's nice, right. nice day, nice and warm, a little bit windy. Yeah. So that's cool. Well, thank you for inviting us into your home and your workspace and beautiful sunroom. Oh, I'm so excited to be part of this. I thank you very much for asking. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, your program is called My Feel Good Way, That's and right. what the heck is My Feel Good Way? Tell us about it. So, My Feel Good Way is a program where I help people understand that most of the things that they suffer from in life are just habits, mm. and that if they understand the bad habits and then replace those with better habits, that the the things we suffer from just melt away. Oh, so like, give me an example. Um, well, so um, most chronic pain is caused by the physical tension we hold in our bodies, and that's a habit. We don't even know we're doing it, but we've been doing it our whole lives, and everybody else is doing it. It's become a part of our culture, but it can be wiped away like that. Wanna 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 try it? I do. Yeah. Okay, so I usually um, start just about everything I do, personally, everything I do, but whenever I'm speaking or teaching or whatever, it is the first thing we're going to do, and we'll talk about it a little bit more after you've experienced it. So we're just going to start with our fingers on our temples, press deeply, and then turn it into circles. doesn't matter which direction. Your fingers will go the correct way. Okay. And then keeping that pressure, you're going to move the circles back towards your ears and now you're rubbing where your ears and your head hook together i'm kind of flapping my ears forward a yeah, little bit i'm pushing my and then ears when you get it to the bottom you just drag it down your throat past your collarbone and now just sit for a moment with your hands in your lap and your eyes closed and notice how you feel i definitely feel calmer yeah oh my goodness and so now at, Pretty much everybody just took an involuntary deep breath, which I didn't have to say take a deep breath, it just happens because yeah. that's physiological evidence. You just went from fight or flight to rest and digest. Oh my gosh. So now look around and tell me if anything's different. Well, I'm definitely noticing more of the beautiful, colorful things you have here in your room. Um, you know, it's almost like I can see in a slower fashion yeah. um, to, to notice, which is really nice. Um, the lake still draws my eye. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's absolutely accurate. <clears throat> Usually the first thing people say is either colors are brighter mm. or my vision is clearer. And you kind of said a combination of both. And whichever gets said first, everyone agrees. And then, then somebody will say the other one and everyone agrees. And uh, then often somebody will say something about maybe they're hearing something they didn't notice before or something like that. One of my favorite things that somebody said, I mean, almost everybody says, I just feel calmer. But she said it like this. She said, there was something at the periphery of my attention that was really bugging me. She said, I wasn't aware it was there, but now I'm aware it's gone. Interesting. And that's, everybody kind of goes, yeah, that's it. And the thing is, is that according to science, 
Um, you know, we've learned more about the brain and the body connection in the last 30 years than since the beginning of time. Really? I mean, that's... That's amazing. That's... And it's that's like not even a big enough statement to really say it, hmm. right? So one of the things we've learned is, is that the human brain, even at rest, is slightly anxious. Hmm. And so that slight anxiety, even at rest, means that at rest we're sort of in fight or fight. And there are physiological um, repercussions of that. And so that's at rest. So now let's pick up our phones, let's get ready for work, let's get in our cars, let's, you know, raise our families and that sort of thing. And that slight anxiety just keeps going up and up and up. And that, that physiologically creates your body producing adrenaline, glucagon, cortisol, testosterone, because you got to be ready to fight or flight. And your whole physiology is based on that, including where in your brain the blood flow is going to. Um, when you're in your normal state, the blood flows to the back of your brain where you are assessing the past and the future for what's going to be wrong or what did go wrong. Constantly, your brain is just in this chatter about stuff that happened a long time ago, stuff that's going to happen, and not one bit of it is in present time. Amazing. And then you do something, anything that feels good. I always show this one because it's so obvious. Um, in 500 billionths of a second, your nervous system shifts into rest and digest. So now the chemistry is <clears throat> endorphins, oxytocin, the bonding drug. You feel isolated and alone most of the time and you just do something quick takes 15 or 20 seconds and you're filled with okay everything's okay kind of thing but also you know opiates and cannabinoids are we wouldn't have receptor sites for those that chemistry if our body didn't a manufacture it and b need it we are not meant to be tensed up all the time that is not normal but we are, and we all are. And so some other of the physiological um, effects when you do something like that is every muscle in your body re relaxes. Um, your breathing slows down. Your blood pressure goes down. <clears throat> so I call that evolutionary exercise number one. The, the one with yep. the ears. Okay. Evo size is the Evo size. little word okay. I made up I like and that. I've copyrighted <laughs> and all that stuff. Okay. And I show it always this very specific way the first time because it always works. But it doesn't have to be such a big deal. It can be just this, like I rub, think of your dogs and your cats, right? Oh yeah. You rub along the edge of their skull, you rub behind their ears. It's so nice. But it's the dragging it down your throat past your collarbone that is the most important part because the chemistry of the nervous system is transported in the lymphatic system. You have lots of lymph in your neck. Mm. So when you drag that down past your collarbone, that's where the lymph system dumps into the heart. The heart beats and sends that healing chemistry to every cell in your body. That is an, that's amazing healing, that it can be that. Literally way. healing it, where before it's this destructive chemistry going to every cell in the, in the body. So when you do something, anything that feels good, drag it down your throat or towards your heart. Your heart beats, okay. takes it to every cell in your body, healing it. It's not woo-woo, it's physiology. That is and that's incredible. a big part of my work is <clears throat> I try to leave the woo-woo language out of my work because then there's a whole bunch of people whose ears just close when you start using that that type of um, language. I'm an RN, I'm a massage therapist, I live in a very uh, conservative town on the conservative side of the mountains. If I start blasting out with that kind of stuff, I'm going to just not reach people. And so <clears throat> the original question was, what is my feel-good way? 
So it's a program okay. that you learn sure that has a combination of teaching you to lower your stress and doing it frequently enough to stay there and also fixing the balance in your body. So my story started when I had such severe chronic pain that I couldn't work. Mm. I also didn't have insurance. So I had to figure it out on my own. And now I'm actually really grateful for the pain and for the not having insurance because the program that I just figured out, it helped me. I'm my first guinea pig. But since then, I've taught it to thousands of people with really good results and found that it not only helps with chronic pain and stress, I've helped people with migraines, I've helped people with mental health issues, autoimmune issues, even weird neurological stuff. I had this woman with a weird neurological thing and it just like, it stopped it. Nothing else had stopped it. Um, but chronic pain and stress is absolutely the main thing. And <clears throat> I had a couple experiences. I was at the Gorge Amphitheater last weekend for a dead and company show and <clears throat> this guy comes in to, with his wife to my camp and he's complaining about how bad his back hurts and how he's had already surgery and he's gonna have to have more surgery and they sat him down in a chair and I put some rolled up towels in place which is uh -huh. part of the program we're not gonna really go into that very much and I just explained to him literally in less than 10 minutes how the body is out of balance both front to back because of bad posture and right to left because of um, overuse of our dominant side. And I showed him a couple of stretches, literally in 10 minutes. He left, it made sense to him what I said, because the body's a structure. Yeah. And he went away, did what I told him, came back an hour later sobbing because he oh had God. not been out of pain in years and he was out of pain like that. That is incredible. Yeah. And so you discovered this, at, so how long ago would you say? 20 years. 20, 20 years. years. And at that time you had all the knowledge because you're an RN and, and you're interested in the body and yeah. science. And then um, did you, how did you find the rest of your information? Well, some of it I learned from a brilliant chiropractor here in Soap Lake. He's no longer here. I miss him. If anybody knows where David Ellis is, I want to know about it. Um, he he practices a type of chiropractic called the Pettibone Method. Okay. And in the Pettibone Method, you learn it's about the balancing, that it's the imbalance of the body that is the cause of our program, of our problems. And he had this very specific, you had to do an hour with the exercise in his office, da 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 which I realized people aren't going to do that. Or yeah. they'll do it for a short time. So when I started teaching it to my massage clients, I just realized it's how we sit, it's mm. how we stand, it's how we sleep, it's how we walk that's causing the problem. So fix that and yeah. the problem solved. So incredible. And I know now with all the technology we have, um, I mean, entire generations are growing up, you know, with necks pointed down all the Holy time. Holy cow, I am having... And you can see it as oh people gosh. are walking, you know, and yeah. it's like, oh, that's going to hurt your neck just from looking at it. With the youth who have grown up gaming and on phones and laptops and stuff like that, a big part of my program is teaching people how to use technology without destroying themselves. I have people in their 20s now getting on my table with spines of 80 year olds. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. It, and it's something I'm super passionate about because it's going to be an epidemic where a whole generation of people are going to be in so much pain they can't work. Yeah. And one of the big things that I like to point out about one of the benefits of helping somebody out of whatever they're suffering from is not only does suffering cost us billions of dollars in healthcare costs and, and lost wages and da 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 but what about lost potential? If I hadn't yeah. figured it out, I could be homeless Yeah. on opiates, right? Yeah. I could be on disability sitting in a little tiny apartment watching TV all day and instead I've been able to help 
you know, literally thousands of people. Thousands of people, and you get to live your best life, and, I get to and live you my get best to enjoy life. and share it with other people, <clears throat> and which is only going to make it better for everybody else, yeah. right? Like when we when we lift ourselves up, when we heal ourselves, when we feel better, other people yeah. can feel that as well. So one of the things about the Evo sizes is I teach people to do them frequently. When I started, I was doing them every five minutes. I used a Oh, so something like this every something. five minutes? And it, okay. and, it, and it doesn't have to be that. It can be just a quick stretch. Okay. Um, I teach people to use doorways. We go through a lot of doorways, so stop. You know, for literally 30 seconds. It doesn't have to be a long time. And then you just keep going. But the idea of doing it frequently is that you're going to keep yourself in that state. Okay. And the, instead of always recovering and trying to recover all the time, if you can keep yourself in that state, then when stressful stuff comes at you, you're going to deal with it in a different way. And the more consistent you are and the longer you do this, I believe you can reset that set point towards stress and reset it towards not stress. Rest and digest is the opposite. And I, I've been doing it for 20 years and I think I've been successful. It's, and I'm super clear, it's not that I don't have stress. I have tons of stress. I just sold and bought a house. I just, you know, <laughs> um, you know, anybody who's been following my Feel Good Fridays, which I'm in episode 172. Oh my goodness. That's over, I'm in my fourth year without missing a Friday. And one of the things about that is the people who've been following along all these years, they see the stress that I have in my life, but I have tools to manage it. And one of the super big benefits of doing something, anything that feels good is it drops you straight into present time. Mm. And it's a really unusual place to be for most people. So when they do it the first time, they're like, whoa, whoa, is this place? I don't understand this place. What have you done to me? But if you can stay there, that's the real bonus. Okay. And with, again, hey Siri, give me a 10 minute timer. 10 minutes, counting down. It's that simple. I started with five minutes, but I teach my students every 10 minutes. Every Because 10 that's minutes. about how long it lasts. Oh my gosh. And so you just, you know, 10 to 15 minutes is how long it lasts. So it's just like any other medication. You're just, before it wears off, you take the next dose. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try it. And you look, you know, Lily was just here with us, but you look at animals, and I mean, anytime a cat, you know, st stands Absolutely. up, they are stretching and That's moving right. their spine and That's getting right. things into place, and we don't necessarily have that built into our custom, but yeah. hopefully with programs like yours, yeah. you know, maybe we can start integrating that into our day-to-day, exactly. -day, minute to minute, hour to hour yeah, life, you know? Exactly. Um, wow, Margo, I am super inspired and impressed. Yay. Yay. So Feel Good Fridays, Feel Good Fridays, how can people see and follow you and so, join the fun? Um, I have the Feel Good Fridays on my Facebook page, Margo Gunther, uh, G-U-E-N-T-H-E-R. I also upload them onto YouTube, which is at my feel good way. And um, um, I also, so uh, on top of that, I also do online coaching where I do private coaching with people. And that's either a six or eight week program. And um, you know, the basics of my program are really simple and can be implemented right away. However, keeping people doing it is what the coaching is about okay and there's a lot to it um you know it's about the physical body it's about the mental um relaxation and the techniques that i teach there are hundreds of ways to change your nervous system okay quickly 10 15 20 seconds 30 if you've got it you know i mean it's really it's not like you have to stop every 10 minutes and do something for five or ten minutes it's literally can be this quick uh, oh my gosh, I love it. And it's just, it's like you say, it's simple, it's easy, it's within reach. It doesn't and it's require, fun. It's, and, and it and feels fun. good, right? <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's my feel good way. And, you know, it's my feel good way that I learned 
but then when you learn it, it becomes your feel-good way. And so it's just such a blessing. Oh, it's such a, you know, like when I have moments like that guy at the concert, you know, sobbing in yeah. my arms because I spent 10 minutes with him. It's so rewarding and such a pleasure to be part of and Oh my gosh. I just really hope, you know, keep spreading the word and yeah. keep sharing it and let more and more people learn and um, it's going to make the world so much better. That's my, that's yeah. my mission in life is it. to spread it far and wide and I really believe like if we started teaching this to children, you know, teaching it to parents to use throughout their pregnancy to use with a newborn, to use with toddlers and so on and so forth so that they, then they understand ways that they can manage their own emotions. Mm. And, you know, imagine if we'd been taught that as children, how different yeah. life would be. Yeah. Be so, and so then it also works in really well. I am a massage therapist. Um, I share my time between speaking and teaching and doing the online work. Um, I'm this fall I'm going to be doing some group online classes um, but I my main gig is I do massage at, I have a home studio here in beautiful Soap Lake um, where we're gonna put on a little shindig that's right we're gonna have our healing waters wellness adventure and expo and that's this depending on when you're listening to the podcast it's this August 25th through 27th 2023 yeah um and what i love about this is it just sort of came about because we ran our event in clealum and um one of the p attendees deva was from soap lake and she had such a transformational experience she said i want to bring this to soap lake and i was like okay i'll help you any way i can well soap lake and, is such a natural for yeah. this because it has been well known for the healing properties um that literally work and heal people the water the mud um you know back in the day when we valued such things um people came in from all over the country to to bathe in the healing waters you know some of them on in wheelchairs some of them on on stretchers and left walking healed out of this town uh, it's a highly mineralized lake it has i don't know 19 different minerals. Uh, it has 10 times more salt than the ocean. Oh wow. And one of the constituents of the water is a, an oil called ichthyol. And it's the most common um, ingredient in like medications for psoriasis and eczema. Mm. And it naturally occurs in our lake. In fact, um, one of the main things that uh, the lake has been used for is eczema and psoriasis. Um, the National Psoriasis Association of the United States, which has millions of members, has a brochure that names eight places on the planet that they really believe help people with their um, skin issues, and Soap Lake is one of those. Wow. And back in the turn yeah. of the century, um, the beaches were wall to wall with people and, and using, we also have this naturally occurring black mud. It's, there's no other lake like it on the planet. Uh, the closest thing to it is it's sort of like a miniature dead sea yeah okay and so it used a lot of the same ways we have the black mud we have the mineral water um you can't sink it you just float <laughs> it's uh it's, i gotta try that <laughs> okay sure. our 10 minutes is up let's do another okay eco oh there we go mm. just that simple mm. and now I we just move on too. okay yeah. Yeah, right, even if you make just, sure you're doing that with us at yes, home, everybody. Please. Yeah, and if you didn't, rewind it and do it. <laughs> um, even if you just do this, you'll feel the effect. That is incredible. And you can do this while you're driving. You can do this while, while you're, you're on a Zoom meeting or you know making dinner. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. Margo. Well. I am super excited because you are going to be part of our um, event that's happening here at Soap Lake in August and doing a talk, kind of maybe giving people a little information and then offering a workshop where people can get to try this out and themselves. And I'm hoping we're going to do the mud ceremony. Too. And a mud ceremony, we're going to do it on the beach at Excellent. the end. Yeah. yeah. So Great. that'll be super fun. 
Um, and we'll put all that information in the show notes for everybody. Margot, I love your sense. I love your style. I love all the colors of your <laughs> mom. I mean, Margot is having fun and definitely um, doing her best to shine and help people live their best life. So I really appreciate you being on the podcast. May I have one more minute? Please have another minute and be sure and tell people how to connect so with you. So one of the reasons I'm excited about this podcast, one of the reasons I'm excited about the seminar that we're putting on here in Soap Lake is because Soap Lake is kind of in trouble. There's a lot of different ways that it's being degraded. There's a, a state highway that goes by and that runoff goes into the lake and so on and so forth. And we have a, a group here in town called the Soap Lake Conservancy and they've been working tirelessly for decades actually trying to figure out how to get what we need to protect the lake and they're so on it. And we recently qualified for a federal program that will help us protect the lake and stop the degradation. Um, and the next step in this program is to hear from the public. Okay. And so um, their website is thelake.org. Okay. Super simple. And if you go there, it will. there's something on the very front page that will explain what you can do to help us get this designation. And it's really important. Thanks for listening. See you next time for another episode of Shinable. And remember, the world's a better place when you show up and shine.